What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. We have got a massive game this weekend against Wolves. Two o'clock kickoff on Sunday at the Molyneux. This is your predicted lineup. Let's get straight into it with the team news. Obviously, we've still got some notable injuries uh, with Hugo Lloris, Eric Lamella, Ben Davis and Tongi Undombele. Uh, Michel Vorm as well is injured, uh, but Harry Winks has come back into the fold. Um, and started his full-time training back again. So the lineup that we're going to go for, I think it's going to be Gazaniga in goal. I think that's that's a shoe in right back. We're going to go for Serge Aurier to come back into the team. I think he's been second to none since um, since Jose's come. You can't really take him out of the team. There's no excuses to. So Serge Aurier right back. Left back, I think Jan Vertonghen's going to be reinstated back into the team. I think he's been very good since... He's taken up his new role at left back, drifting into like a back three. And at some points as well in the last game, he was playing centre defensive mid as well alongside Dyer. So Matongan at left back. Centre backs, we're going to stick with the same uh, Davidson Sanchez and Toby Alderweireld, which is kind of the theme for our Premier League games. I think that's going to be our back four moving forward in, in most of the Premier League games now. So back four of Serge Aurier, Davidson Sanchez, Toby Alderweireld and Jan Matongan. The double pivot is an interesting one because obviously Harry Winks comes back into the fold. Victor Wanyama played a couple of minutes out in Munich. So, But what we're going for is the same uh, double pivot that, that we played in Munich, which will be Eric Dyer and Moussa Sissoko. I think Moussa Sissoko has carried on his brilliant form since the Pochettino era, under the Jose era. Um, he's been brilliant. He's already scored two goals under Jose Mourinho now. Who would have thought that? Now, Eric Dyer, alongside him, Many would think he probably doesn't deserve to play. I'm probably of that thinking as well. If it was up to me, I'll probably play Sissoko and Winks. But for some reason, Jose loves Dyer. He's picking him pretty much every game. And to be fair to him, he is getting better. So um, I don't want to put too much of a downer on Dyer. But I think he is getting better. Just he still needs to improve a lot. His passing range is not that great. But he is covering a lot of ground and, and he's getting fitter. So that's the main thing. As long as, he, as long as we see improvements from Dyer, that's the main thing. That's all I can ask for, to be honest. Um, moving on to the right flank, we're going to go for Lucas Moura. He played there in Munich and he got taken off. So maybe that was a bit of an indication that he's going to start with Deli Ali. I'm putting as a, you know, the shadow striker just behind the striker. Um, Everyone knows what's going on with Deli Ali at the moment. He is a player absolutely reborn, scoring loads of goals, dictating play. Everything that is good attacking-wise for Tottenham is going through him. So Deli Ali has got to be one of the first names on the team sheet at the moment. And on the left-hand side of the attack, we are going to go for Hyung Min Son as well. He is playing absolutely sensational stuff at the moment. Scored a goal um, in the last game, you know, dribbling it against Burnley dribbling from our own penalty box, beating about six players in his wake and scoring probably the goal of the season uh, so far. So Hubens on to keep his spot. Then obviously we're going to put skipper Harry Kane up top. So let me just run through that team for you one more time. It's going to be Gazaniga in goal, Aurier right back, uh, Jan Vertonghen left back, Toby Alderweireld and Davison Sanchez in the centre-back positions with Sissoko and Dyer in the double pivot with... Lucas Moura, Hyung Min Son, and Deli Ali just behind Harry Kane. Now, if that if that is the lineup, which I suspect it will be, I think we can win, but it's going to be a very difficult game. I think I think Wolves are a team who have only lost one game this season. Very very difficult side to beat. Um, they are getting better and better this season. You've seen their Europa League um, form. They won four 0 on Thursday night with Jota scoring a hat trick. But they've also got players like Raul Jimenez, who's absolutely on fire this season. Ruben Neves, um, Moutinho, and then Matt Doherty, Rui Patricio. You know, the list goes on. They've got some great players there. And the manager, Nuno, is doing a very, very good job up in the Midlands. Um, this, is, this ain't going to be an easy game, I tell you that. Last season, we played them and we had two very dodgy games at Wembley. They beat us around this time last year. And then up in the Molyneux. Um, we beat them 3-2, but it was very, very lucky how we did win that game. So you've got to be very cautious of this game. Um, they're a very good side and they're capable of beating anyone on their day. So, And also, not only that, but it, it's an intense stadium to go to. The fans will be right on top of us. And 
it's going to it's going to take professional performance to win this game and we're going to need to be at it from the first minute there there's no room for passengers in this game whatsoever so yeah there you have it if that is the lineup i'm going to go for spurs to win 2-1 um, in a very closely fought hard fought game um, we're going to need to be very pragmatic we're going to need to be decisive in how we attack we need going to need to be clinical in how we attack so it's going to be tough but there you have it that's my prediction that's my predicted lineup and predicted scoreline like subscribe and comment below and tell me what you think the predicted lineup is going to be and as always come on you spurs